Life on a Mega Fiend, so today I thought I'd do a little swatching session of the Stargazer Vivid Eye Colour Palette for you. Um, as you know, I showed you this in a haul. And I've actually done another video on the Velvet Palette, which I also got. Um, they come in these sort of metal sort of artist palette trays, as you can see at the bottom. They are like proper artist palettes. Um, I think it's quite unique. Um, that they come like this and also they're very strong and durable the inside is not actually fastened in they're actually very much like um i don't know if you remember like um paints when you were younger sometimes they came in these sort of plastic trays very much reminds me of that it's cool um but yeah this comes here so the, the colors are coming up pretty accurate they're actually a little bit brighter in person because they are true neon colors but i will do some little swatches for you so we'll start with the neon row on top and I'll swatch them on my arm so that you can see. So we've got a neon green. The neon yellow is not super pigmented and it's not coming up anywhere near as bright as it actually is. And I've actually got the neon yellow on today under my eyes, which is the um, CC Frail Look from X Factor, if you want to check out that video. So those are the neon colours. We've got a green, a yellow, an orange, a pink, and then a corally sort of orange colour there. They're really lovely, they're actually really nice, and the size of the shadows is really, really generous. Uh, when you look at them in relation to the size of a MAC shadow, can see the difference is really quite huge uh, a really good value this palette was 13 which is really good because it's actually 23 pounds on the stargazer official site I got mine off ebay and it was really fast delivery so i was very impressed so i'm just going to quickly wipe that off and then we'll start with these colors along the top here um, this blue is so pretty it's not super pigmented, but if you built that up, it's just a gorgeous sort of sky blue. I love this next colour. It's sort of a very berry sort of pink. And then you've got a lovely purple. Next colour is that vibrant red. And then the last colour is that blue. Again, the blue is not very pigmented. But you can build it so that's the colors on the top of the palette i think these are really really pretty colors i will show you alongside um the velvet palette so there they are together now what you'll see here i'll turn it the other way so you can actually see that there is the blue and the red in these palettes are slightly different the blue and red in the velvet are a little bit darker than the blue and red in the um, vivid colour. And then you've got like a pink, again this is more vivid, so the, this palette is a lot more vivid than this one. Um, these are darker shades but I absolutely love them. They're really really nice to work with. They are quite powdery though, um, so you do get considerable fallout with them, though they do work well when you use them with Fix Plus from MAC. Um, but all you've got to do basically is just be prepared with you know what you need. Um, I use a buffer brush that I use to put my foundation on. I have a bit of foundation still left on it and I use that to clean up the area underneath and powder and it's not too bad. Also if you work with a brush that isn't too fluffy and the, the bristles are quite compact like today I used a Barry M eyeliner brush and then you just pat it onto the area and press it in then the fallout isn't quite as bad. So there are ways to minimize the sort of fallout. Um, but yeah I think they're really good quality. These were a really good price. There is actually sort of a natural coloured one, but I think that's around 16 or 17 pounds. I might invest in that, I might not. I mean, I've got plenty of natural colours. Uh, I didn't have lots of bright colours, and I really enjoy using bright colours, and neons are very, very hard to find, actually. Um, New Look used to sell the individual ones, and you can buy individual ones, but I don't know anywhere near me that actually sells Stargazer. I think that there might be a little shop in the galleries and the in shops that still actually sells the single ones. I'd have to have a look maybe and see if they do because they do a lot of bright colours and interesting colours that you just can't get anywhere else. I did struggle for a long time to find a really good red um, and that was part of why I got the initial palette because I really wanted a nice red. Um, I'll actually swatch the two reds together, I never thought to do that. So 
So there you can see two very different reds. Um, you've got a very sort of, I don't know, like a tomato red and then a true sort of pillar box red. So I'm excited to start using these colours in more tutorials. I've only used this yellow today um, but you definitely want to start using some of these. Even some of these in the other palette are a little bit shimmery and I just can't wait to start using them. So I thought I'd do, give you a little bit of a mini review and swatch of this palette and then hopefully I'll be able to use um, a lot of these colours in upcoming videos. I don't know, I don't think I actually swatched the original palette, just this one. I'll actually just do a few swatches of that one. Yeah, I should be able to do them there. So, um, I came across these because um, Pixie Woo actually used these. They used one of these um, in a look that they did. I can't actually remember what look, so I'm really sorry about that. But they did use um, this actual palette, the red from it, and that's when I started to look into it because... I really really wanted a red and hadn't been able to find one up until that point. So I'm running out of clean fingers. Yeah, so I was quite excited to be able to find this online. I did purchase the first one from Stargazer, but I would never purchase again because this postage and they're a lot more expensive. Um an eBay. So there they are. That's the colours in this palette. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where it starts. Yeah, that's all of them along there. These probably have not swatched quite so well. The first colours are a little bit shimmery. That might be a bit better. Yeah. So that's the colours in this palette. You've got some nice really muted colours, a couple of bright colours in there. The purples and pinks in here are just really, really pretty. So that's my little Stargazer palette review sort of video and I want to show you the, switch, the swatches of the Vivid palette. I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching and see you all soon. Bye!